This is a very common problem and it's super easy to fix. There's just a couple of settings in Windows that you need to adjust. So let's have a look. Now, what you want to do is go down to this icon over here. This is your volume icon. If we were to click on that, you can see we could change the volume if we really wanted to, but you want to right click on this and then you want to go to sound settings. Now we could take care of one of the issues from this screen right here, but I find it's easier if we go to the old school property screen. So we're going to scroll down in here and you might not have all the ins and outs like I do. I have two audio interfaces connected right now and both have quite a few ins and outs. So don't worry if you don't see all that many things in there. So we want to go to this more sound settings near the bottom here and we'll click on that. And it's going to bring up this old school audio properties dialog window. And in here, you need to find out what your main audio device is, your audio interface or sound card, whatever you're using in your DAW. That's what we got to find here. So for me, it's this output one and two from my Avid MBox Studio. That's what I use as my output in my DAW. And I also use that as my main stereo output to listen to YouTube videos and music and everything else. So I'm going to just right click on that, then go into properties. And in here, we want to go over to the advanced tab. So I'll click on that. And now this tab has both of the settings that you're going to want to adjust. So the first one being, you want to make sure that your bit rate and your sample rate is the same as in your DAW. So you want to check in your DAW and the audio devices section, what you have this set to. And in windows, we go to this. And we want to make sure that this has the same sample rate. And if there is a bit rate that you can change, make sure it has the same bit rate as well. And if it isn't the same, you can just click on that and you can change it to whatever the other option is that would suit yours. Some audio interfaces have more options in here. Some have this, this is about the, as basic as it gets right there. And then once you have that set up properly, we can go down to this exclusive mode. And by default, Windows usually has this checked plus a check mark in that one as well. So what you want to do is uncheck this top one and it's going to uncheck that other one. And then that's it. Once you're done that, you can click OK. You can do the same thing for all of your outputs if you do use more than just your one and two. So you could go into there, properties, advanced, and then you can change this if you need to. You can also do it on recording, which would be your input. So if you do use your inputs in other programs while you have your DAW open, you might want to go into your inputs, whatever your default ones are, go to properties, and then you want to go to the advanced tab, make sure that's the same, and you want to make sure that's disabled. And now you can see I have my DAW open right here, but I can also go to YouTube and plug in that connect. I can play back this video. There's no stutters or anything. You can see there's no problems with playing it back. And if you're new to all of this audio recording stuff on your computer, and you might be wondering what the best DAW for beginners is, then check out this video right on the screen here. If you liked this video that you just watched and it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more audio tech videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for audio tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.